All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music and um, real cosmetics and doing it in real yeah, cosmetics and doing it in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. I'm, I'm ready to crack up before I even start with this story. Um, before I do that, here is Grand Design. Nothing to laugh about here. Great music from another Swedish band. Their album Rock, R-A-W-K, combination of Def, Def Leppard and TNT. Easy for me not to say right, um, because I'm going to be talking about Alice Cooper. I figured I would uh, feature Grand Design. Here they are again. One more time. Let me just open this up, because um, the design is grand, hence the name and the band. Uh, their single, I think, is called Tough It Out, one of them. But uh, again, good stuff. Um, also good stuff over on the radio, modernretrofm.com. Check them out, Modern Retro Radio. Really difficult to say, Modern Retro Radio. It's kind of like Lil River Band. It just doesn't come out right. Lil River Band, Modern Retro Radio. All right. Anyway, I want to talk about this Alice Cooper story. That's <laughs> just... Um, so Alice Cooper is teaming up with Vampire Cosmetics for a, a new makeup collection. Alice Cooper has been wearing makeup on stage for years, and now he's teamed with the vegan and cruelty-free cosmetics brand, Vampire Cosmetics, for a new makeup line that will be out just in time for Halloween. Now, ladies uh, and uh, others, uh, I'm sure the most important thing about your uh, cosmetics is it's vegan and cruelty-free. That's really important because if it's not, why even purchase? Why even make a purchase? Uh, and this line will be out just in time for Halloween. The Alice Cooper collection designed to exude Alice's style features makeup palettes shaped like guitars and amps and two lipsticks shaped like a microphone, one in pink and one in lime green. There will also be a new version of his unisex whiplash mascara. That's what it's called, unisex whiplash mascara, also shaped as a microphone. The Vampire Cosmetics collection, is the Alice Cooper collection, is now available for pre-order. So you can order your cosmetics right now and get them in time for Halloween. So Alice Cooper, right? Um, Dave, come on. Alice Cooper is really cool. I mean, he's been doing this for years. What, what's, what's your problem, dude? Stay in your lane, man. <laughs> I had someone post and left. They, they get on. It's interesting because you can get onto Patreon. You can make a comment and it's like, um, like chew and screw, you know, like eat and not pay. So it's 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 funny what people say. And they they just imitate the things I say about myself. I'll stay in your lane, man. Yeah, if I'm not in my lane, I'm talking about things like Alice Cooper and this ridiculous story. Now, again, Alice Cooper is one of those guys who's been doing this stuff for years. That is correct. And so I shouldn't have a problem with this. Here is the problem, though, Alice Cooper says he's a born-again Christian. He says he reads his Bible. Uh, I think he hangs out with Greg Laurie, who is a fairly famous pastor. He's not of my vintage or flavor. I'm more of the Reformed theology type person. And so I thought of this verse, and I typically don't read Bible verses. Uh, on this channel, but here we are. So this is the verse that came to mind. It's Matthew 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Okay, so I go back to the story here. And a new makeup line that will be out just in time for Halloween. Now, Alice Cooper, he's all about Halloween. His whole career surrounds 
Welcome to my nightmare. The whole thing is just, is that like doing the will of my father, which is in heaven? By the way, verse 22 says, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. <laughs> and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. That's Jesus right there. Yeah, sorry, I never knew you. Um, thanks for playing the home game, though. Uh, your parting gift will be a trip to someplace very warm, like exceedingly hot. You know, people think it's hot this summer. Yeah. Anyway, um, so Alice Cooper, who again says he's a Christian, um, and this article to me is just pandering vegan and cruelty-free cosmetics, unisex, whiplash mascara. So is Alice on board with, it doesn't matter if you declare yourself you know, non-binary and you're not feeling like Shania Twain. And Shania used to feel like a woman. Now I'm pretty sure she's not really sure because you can't know for sure anymore. You got Supreme Court justices that have no idea. And Alice Cooper saying, hey, I got this great new cosmetics line out just in time for Halloween. And Halloween, not known for its uh, Christian values, Halloween. Now, Am I condemning everything about Halloween? Almost. I think it's cool that kids can get candy from strangers, although they need to be accompanied by adults when they do that, and they get the candy for free. That's a good thing, right? It's like a gift. Here's the candy. Did nothing to earn that gift. It's free of charge, right? Kids love that stuff. But when I see these kids dressed up like little devils or like, Alice Cooper. <laughs> I'm like, that's evil stuff. And the more evil we see in the world, the less inclined I am to just kind of like wink and nod at this stuff anymore and say, yeah, it's just Alice Cooper being Alice Cooper. He's in his 70s. When does when does the grift end? 70 something years old. You've you've had a great run. How about you set a ministry up for people who are, you know, rock stars who might not have heard this message that you supposedly believe in? See, I think somewhere else in the Bible, like First Thessalonians, it talks about how you should abstain from even the appearance of evil. So that stage costume isn't working. Look, um, I'm not a huge striper fan, but Michael Sweet, he he doesn't like try to lean into that dark world. He, um, you know, they have costumes that gold and black stuff and all that, and it's goofy, and it might be a little on the imitating the world side of things, but it's it's not like going completely over to the dark side. And Alice Cooper, again, he's been wearing makeup for years. So he's got a great new collection out that you should try. And it's unisex. So both men and women can wear it. And if you're non-binary or you can't figure it out, you can wear it. Everybody can wear this. This is perfect for Halloween. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah. The problem here is that Alice Cooper says, hey, I'm a Christian. Now, if he didn't say that stuff, I'd be like, well, he's just another rock star doing something to get people to pay attention to him. And I wouldn't really have a problem. I'd rather hear somebody who is like Axl Rose and just swearing and drinking and doing what he's doing. And he's not out there saying, yeah, I, I am um, following Jesus Christ. He's not saying that. Alice Cooper is saying that. So he's held to a much higher standard, or at least he should be. But see, this is how Alice Cooper has been able to blend into the world. And the world says, Oh, yeah, he's a Christian. Yeah, that's cool. It's like on his resume, they check the box and they go, yeah, that's cool. He's not one of those offensive Christians, though. He's a good Christian because he, he stays in his lane, right? He doesn't rock the boat. 
He doesn't say anything all that provocative. Now, he'll do interviews and he'll proclaim Christ and he'll say some good stuff. He will. But then you can't turn around and do this stuff. It just, nope, sorry. I'm, look, am I being judgmental? Yeah. Am I being legalistic? Maybe a little bit. But how far do you take this stuff? Um, his rock and roll ministry, quote unquote, is not, I'm sure, it might get people to say, well, I guess some Christians aren't so stuffy and stodgy and judgmental. Okay, but again, Matthew 7 is pretty clear. Some people who are out there saying, yep, I'm on board. No, well, they're not going to make it. They're not, they're not going to make it. And all of the prophesying, this goes to all of these uh, Christian TV channels out there where they're all speaking and gibberish and doing crazy things. And it, this isn't, no, that, that's not Christianity. I mean, if you get one prediction wrong, by the way, you're, you're done. You're, you're done as a prophet. You're out, you know? Um, speaking, and, and here's, here's the verse I'm talking about. You know, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? We're not talking about the days of the apostles when that stuff actually happened. We're talking now, okay? And there are so many, you know, snake oil salesmen out there who've turned Christianity into a business. And they get away with it because they do it in the name of God and God told them. Guess what? If the Bible doesn't verify and doesn't kind of line up with what God told them, then they're just, they're one of the, they're a reprobate. They're like worse than somebody who is just lost because they're using this stuff to make money. And that, I, I, I'm thinking it's going to be even hotter wherever they're going to wind up. So, yeah, um, Alice Cooper, you know, he, he is what he is. Um, do I like him? Again, I like his 70s material. Um, and back in those days, I think he was being his true self. What he did was he supposedly converted to Christianity and just kept the old persona. Whatever happened to that all things are made new kind of strategy? I don't know. I guess all you could you could say I I could be in trouble because all rock and roll could be looked at and I'm doing a channel mostly about rock and roll but I'm also critiquing it calling it out um and I'm still a work in progress and I'm not out there wearing you know dark mascara with my microphone applicator and putting on uh what is it neon lipstick green lipstick with my, <laughs> that would be interesting, with my uh, microphone uh, applicator, all right? All right, um, let me get out of this because this, this could go on. I could just keep babbling here. There's so many points to be made about this, but um, here is Grand Design and their album, Rock. Again, I don't know what these guys are all about spiritually. And uh, I might be better off not knowing. See, the problem is I know where Alice Cooper is and what he's still promoting. It just, those two things don't line up. All right, they just, they just don't. So you may disagree. You may think this is legalism gone amok, uh, run amok, whatever, but uh, this is my opinion. And sometimes my opinions uh, make people upset. So today might be one of those days where People are like, I love Alice Cooper. You're ruining it for me. Well, just go enjoy Alice Cooper, you know, and grab yourself some mascara and some lipstick because uh, he's going to be making money off of this stuff. Again, he's teamed up with a company. It's called Vampire Cosmetics. Vampires. Yeah, when I think of Christianity, I always think of vampires. They're one and the same, right? 